Alrighty, I've got a violin here, yay, and I'm going to show you about the audition for violin. Now, um, the first song that we have to play, actually violin, viola, and cello, just so you know. First song we have to play is hopscotch. Uh, we've been learning our notes on the D string and uh, on the A string, so hopscotch uses notes on the D string. And again, you want to review these if you're not sure of them. Uh, all the notes that are shown on page six have the D string notes. So I'm going to play hopscotch for you, show you how this is going to work. So I'm starting with a G, so I have my three fingers on my D string. All right, so here I go. One and two and three and four and one and two. Pretty straight ahead, not too difficult, right? That's the first song we have to learn. Second one we have to do is called Dreidel on page 13. Now, this uses the D string notes, open D, E, F sharp, and G, and it also has the open A. Um, so, a little bit longer song. I recommend if you're practicing it to practice it four measures at a time so you can get comfortable with it. Here it goes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and My fingers down with those brackets and had a little bit of a tough time with those A's. Those are tricky. All right, so that's that one. All right, then what we have to be able to do is we need to be able to play the songs on page 15, 43, 44, and 45 uh, without having letters written in. Now, what is sometimes helpful to do is to make a fingering guide over here on the top of page 14. As you could see, I put the names of the notes and the fingerings with them. These are the D string notes. These are the A string notes, and um, so that way there you have it handy on the previous page. Um, to pass the audition, you need to be able to play these songs without letters written on them. Okay, that's the idea. All right, so here goes Notten. Mozart Melody. So that one there, in addition to the D string notes, uh, D, E, F sharp, G, open A, it also uses a B, okay? Now, Matthew's March is finally going to use all of the notes that we know up to the high D, okay? Now, they also put the sharps in the beginning of the line, and you could read about what it says about key signature. Um, it saves the, the music writers the trouble of putting the sharps all over the place in the music. All right, so I'd like to play for you Matthew's March. One and two and three and four and 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 and that's Matthew's March. And then the final song to complete the audition is Christopher's Tune.
four. There you have it. All right, so key thing with all of the auditions, no matter what instrument you play, here we go, hello, is that you're steady. You want to be steady. You want to be able to count if you play a string instrument out loud while you're playing one and two and three and four and, all right? And it takes time. You want to do it a little bit at a time. If students want to play a little bit of the audition for me at a time, they can certainly do that. Okay, so I hope that helps you and have fun and practice like crazy.